All right, so this is the plan for the general offensive northeast on the support. The two cruisers from the last war against the Republic will spearhead the effort against all this swarm of small enemies coming in, and the battle cruiser will act as a battering ram, uh, just battering down all of their um, structures and you know, their big fleets. Between them, there's over, almost a million and a half materials, so and they have pretty good fuel with a lot of uh, resource in waiting to refuel them. So they'll be spirit heading into the enemy uh, formation with all, all this stuff. Here we have the attack helicopter, a single one with the hover tank and the naval frigate, the sweeping, uh, will be ignoring this resource zone because it's deplete depleted already. Uh, this one had a dead blueprint, so we'll be occupy occupying that and getting their material. Uh, the attack helicopter squadron here, they will destroy this resource base and join the main fleet up north. So the hover tank will sweep in, they will go here, destroy these guys. Uh, actually, there's no need because the resource zones are depleted, and then they'll claim this town from the Empire, and they'll link up with this force over here. So that's the plan. Let's get into some battles. Alright, our first battle against the Union, not nothing too exciting. Considering how, how long we waited, uh, this looked like a power plant straight out of Red Alert somewhere. I don't remember which one, but yeah, it's very, it's very good looking. It's very good at capturing that particular aesthetic. That's a lot of harvesters too. All right, Cramshaw's incoming. Such a cool effect. It's very stormy now, too. Okay, so we're destroying resource containers. Does it say not use RTGs? Or maybe it's in here. Oh, I see batteries. Not sure where the RTGs are. Or how it's providing power. Not sure. Well, it's not very expensive. Um, so maybe the... Oh, there's RTGs. Is he in the chimney? Okay, that's why um, I lost so much house just from the chimney being destroyed. Okay, here's another one. We have a tile capture unit for the first time against a squadron of interceptors. Guess who will win? So this is one of our tile capture fighters. It's armed with a single medium missile designed for taking on tanks because it was developed for Ashes of the Empire. So there's no way that we'll even be able to hit on one of these fighters. Let's have a look. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's cool. These missiles are really long too. Could be a prolonged fight. Yeah, look at that. The idea behind these fighters is that um, we'll spam a lot of them so they can capture a lot of tiles at the same time. But <clears throat> when they need to fight, they'll come together as a swarm. Right now I just got them deployed individually all over the place. Um, so no swarming. And it's not very been it's not been very effective because it's not really designed to fight. It's pretty good at dodging missiles though. Now if it only now if only I can shoot back. Oof. Oh. Um I think we should just in the interest of time, maybe we should give up this fight. Also, we destroyed a second one of those just for being too low. Okay, I think uh, we ran out of luck. Here we have a hover tank against a bomber squadron. Bomber squadron consisting of two bombers. Let's see what they got. Oh, okay, well, the Lancers should take care of it. Or not. 
Okay. Oh yeah, go to auto. Do we get damage? No, we don't take any damage from that. Okay, that's good. Okay, we are interested in intercepting those fighter squadron before they get behind our lines. Let's begin. Point eight hundred AA. Oh, we haven't had a look at those fighters yet. No, these are six sixty five. I'm kind of disappointed they don't have any fighters that look like the MiG-17. Maybe we'll see them in the future. What well, didn't look like our lens was intent on stopping those missiles. Okay, that one's dead. So yeah, these are... Uh, oh my gosh. These are AP heat shells, so they don't need to directly destroy the blocks to detonate the ammunition inside. Oh, Control. can't be serious. Moving out. Moving out. Oh, use a laser. Okay, here we have an another battle against the Empire. Let's have a look at the units. This is the Arrow Destroyer, uh, same as what we faced before. And this is the Submarine Hunter, which I'm not sure. Oh, it just has torpedoes. And it is mildly damaged. I think we will target this first. Engaging now. Because it is likely to die. Yeah, um, wow. Uh, that... If that's not a demonstration of spontaneous combustion, I don't know what is. Alright, there's a big hit of something. Not quite sure what. So they do have missile interceptors. Oh, and that's lambs. No, that's just missiles. We don't have lambs. I've taken no damage. Well, except economically. Oh, wow, that's 80%. I saw so much stuff fall off of here. It's hard to imagine it still adds you know, this much health. Yeah, I think those missile launchers just eat up a lot of material. All right. Here we have our first interceptor against interceptor fight against the Union. Let's see how they perform. I feel like a lot of these interceptor um, designs between the factions, functionally, they're quite similar, but uh, they do have a little, a little bit of difference in flavor between all the function factions once you see them working. These are good, they're a lot more evasive than um, the interceptors of other factions, at least in the previous one. We may need to bring the particle cannon corvette for this, but Hey, it looks like uh, they just lose control after some amount of damage. So that's good. Uh, they have those scuttle settings that they... Oh. Well, that's interesting. Well, 
I was about to say it's 2v2, but looks like it's still 3v2. Uh, it does appear that they have some small amount of projectile avoidance. Or maybe not. Maybe that's a good hit. Okay, will you... Are you thirsty? Do you need some water? Oh, no, no it's going up. Other way, down. Water's the other way. Okay, last one. Those are some top gun maneuvers. I'm really interested how much damage needs to take to, to start spiraling like this. Where, where you would take the damage. Yeah, even though we got some large capital ships here, um, still hard to avoid these annoying little uh, plane fights. Uh, probably, I think once you've seen one, you've seen them all. I'm gonna cut most of these. <laughs>